Hello everyone, it's Betsy. Today I wanted to share with you a, another journal. Well, actually this is more of a photo album. And I have it inside of this box. I was inspired by another crafter online who is just wonderful. She makes the most gorgeous albums and her name is Shelley Geigel. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but I will definitely link her link below because she was my inspiration and I followed her instructions for making the album that's inside. I just changed things here and there just to make it a little bit more of my own um, style and to use some things that I had in my stash, but the basis the basics are are her design. I don't want to take credit for that. And I will link to her tutorial on um, YouTube and that's the one that I followed to make my album. I was very fortunate to find this box at Michael's for three dollars. And the colors are just perfect. I'm giving this album as a gift to someone and I think that this will be a great way to package it and hand it to her. It says pictures, picture perfect memories. And the album is done in lavender, so this has lots of pretty lavenders on it as well. So here's the inside. And this is called an album in a box. So it's gonna be a little tricky for me to get it out of this box. It just fits, but We'll figure it out here. So, here it is. Oops. <laughs> Hold on just a second. It's so windy today. I think the wind blew it off the table. I have my windows open because it's windy, but it's, it's mild and the air is so fresh. So on the front, um, it says home is where the heart is. And um, the tutorial tells you exactly how to make the entire box. I used white chipboard to make this. And um, I used real lace as a border all around my box lid. This is the lid. And then I just used some of these, I believe they're by Prima flowers. Um, to dress up the the box a little bit on the front. And I used a Heartfelt Creations die to make the leaves that are underneath. Okay, so when you open the lid, this opens up and it becomes the album. And this is the front, the first page. And Inside, it says for you here, I used one of the cards. I forgot to say, most of the papers, if not all of the papers, are from Stamperia, the province collection. And they are the most gorgeous papers. I just absolutely love them and had to use them. I used two packages. Uh, they come in sets of 10. Um, double-sided decorated papers. So uh, this is like a little frame here if you can see that close up and I just added some glitter and some flowers and at the top this pulls out and behind it I made some little picture mats for photos and inside of here I made another little picture mat and that's a magnet to keep that closed. And there could be more picture mats put inside of there as well. There's definitely room for more. And up here I, I used a little one of the uh, oval cards for little, just a little journaling. They're so pretty. I used a Martha Stewart vintage die cut border. And down here, the bottom, it's another little journaling spot. So that's the first page. And then the next page opens up. And I used a die cut here. Um, 
I think I got that one from AliExpress actually, which is a place where you can buy die cuts online. They're very inexpensive. If you don't know about that, I'll try to remember to put a link below for it. This is a little die cut here that I added with a little white pearl flower. And this is just a little side tuck spot with a photo mat. And I, I use my corner punch to make those. And then page three is here. And I put some real lace here. And I just made this card come out. I think Shelly, or I think it's Shelly. I always want to call her Sherry, but it's Shelly. I made it so that you can actually take it out, open it up, and here's another picture mat, journaling card, and a couple spots. Girls, don't you knock over my tripod. My dogs are right under my tripod. You know, they have to try to get my attention when I'm doing a video. So this slides back inside here. This page opens up from the top. There's a magnet there to hold it down. And a little journaling spot there. This folds down. And a little journaling spot there. Picture could be placed here. This opens up. And more journaling spots and some little tags over here in this pocket for journaling or pictures. I added this pretty little ribbon here. I think I might add a little flower there or maybe a, oh I don't know, a rhinestone or something just to add a little something. And you could also put a photo way down here too. So this closes, this closes up, this closes down. And then the next page, this is just two pockets, similar pages. And these are little booklets that have magnets. And they open up like that. Oops, have to fix that a little bit. But you could journal in there, put a little picture here so that would be covered regardless. And here's another one over on this side. And then these come out so you can put pictures on these and this comes out also and they hold about a four by six photo so the next page this opens up and opens up again lots of places for photos little tags over here you can just see how beautiful this paper is. I just think it is so gorgeous. So this one comes over first and then that one closes with a magnet. This side this opens up. This is a little card from the collection. You can put a little picture, journal, and it just, here's another photo mat here. It comes out and this just slips inside little tuck spot here at the end. This opens up and there's some really sweet little tags in there. I love this one. A little perfume bottle. And I would just leave this page empty. It's so beautiful. And just put your photos here and there. if you decide to make one. Sorry about the shaking, it's my dog. Lily, stop that. Okay, so on this page, this pulls up, a little spot for journaling or labeling something, and comes down. And then this is a little side waterfall for photos. Journaling, photo, and I just made a little pocket there a little pretty little um, die cut print inside so another photo could go there so lots and lots of fun places that she can put a photo on and I um, fussy cut this out just like she um, Shelly did I made a little tuck spot with some cards 
And here I added some pretty little rhinestone flowers that match the colors. And um, I put a little uh, glossy accents on them. They were really cheap. I got those at Michael's for $2 in a, a package. I will say that some of the rhinestones were falling off and that's probably why. So I double, double glued those to make sure they adhered well. And some more pretty cards in here with more photo mats. Another one here. And I put glitter. I used some uh, diamond dust glitter. And on this page, I added this little flower and leaf from the um, same uh, heartfelt leaf collection. Some glitter on the lavender and the little butterfly here I fussy cut. This opens to the side for a little photo or whatever. These come out. It's a little tuck spot. This comes open. More places for photos. This comes open. Pretty little tag. And this closes up like that. This closes over like that. And there's a magnet. And for the last page, I used this piece, which is kind of a cool um, background piece, I thought. I was going to use the other side, which is the beautiful picture again, but I love this, and I thought this would be a great spot to put a large picture, and then covering this up would, would be so pretty with a, a beautiful personal picture. And again, little tuck spots at the top and the bottom journaling or you can even put little pictures on there and a pretty little tag here more lavender and I added some pretty little um, trim flowers there so that's basically it and this just folds down and your box is made by just pushing up the sides and then you put your lid over top like this so I hope you enjoyed the video and do check out Shelly's channel. She's just very, very creative and very inspirational. So thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed my video. Take care. Bye-bye.